Hello and welcome to the section of the Algebra Tutor. Uh, in this section we're going to tackle something incredibly important and that is called how to add and subtract real numbers. Now don't forget a real number in math is basically just a broad term that means lots of numbers. Negative numbers, positive numbers, uh, and everything in between and we have talked about that before. So what we're going to be doing in this section basically is learning how to add and subtract negative and positive numbers. And I have to say, it is really, really at this point that a lot of students start to have problems with algebra. Because, you know, when you're in second grade, you learn how to add and subtract. It's not a big deal. It's not hard. You learn how to multiply and divide. It's not hard. It's okay. And then suddenly you get to algebra or pre-algebra and you start talking about these negative numbers and it confuses people. And so that's when a lot of students start to have some, some basic problems. And then they try to punch through it and go on to the next section and quickly realize that you can't get anywhere in algebra unless you know how to deal with these negative numbers. So make sure when you watch this material here that you not only watch it, but that you truly, truly understand what it's doing and you can do it for yourself. Because I can promise you, if you spend an extra 20 or 30 minutes or an extra hour learning this and practicing this, then when we get into equations, when we get into other things later, it's not going to be a big deal because you already understand how to handle it. So a lot of what we're going to do here is review second grade math, first grade math, how to add, subtract, and we're just going to add the twist of what a negative number is. Now for those of you who are watching this that are a little bit confused as to what a negative number really is, let's give a little bit of a refresher. Here in my hand I have one pencil, or one pen, and if I grab another guy I have two markers, right? These are two markers in my hand. So we call that number two. This is something you've dealt with all the time. Two jelly beans, two pencils, two markers, right? But what you haven't really totally said out loud to yourself is really this is called positive two, right? Anything you have is a positive number. And that's just from first grade or from kindergarten. If you have 10 cars, it's really called positive 10. If you have three houses, it's positive three houses, right? Now, if I don't have these guys, but I actually owe you something, right? If you are a second person standing next to me and I actually owe you some of these pens, right? Then I don't have, let's say I owe you two pens. I don't actually have two pens, but I keep track of the fact that I owe you two pens by calling it negative two. That's one very, very easy way to talk about the difference between positive and negative. When I have positive two of something, it means I have them in my hand. If I have negative three paper clips, it means I don't have any paper clips. I actually owe somebody else paper clips. The negative just kind of keeps track of the fact that I don't own those. I kind of owe that to you. So if you buy a house for so much money, then you kind of have you know, negative because you owe the bank that much money. It's not money you have, it's money you owe someone else. So that's what really a negative number is. So when we start adding positive and negative numbers together, we're combining those two concepts together. So there are a few simple, simple rules that we can deal with when we're adding positive and negative uh, numbers together. And let's write these here. What I'm going to do is write the rules down. Uh, they're very, very simple. I'm going to put them up here. And we're going to do a lot of practice here, all right? We're going to do so many problems that you're going to start to go a little bit cross-eyed, but make sure you understand them all because practice is the only way you can get good at this stuff. So let's start off with things that I know that you will know. If we're adding numbers together, we're adding numbers together, then a positive number, when we add it to another positive number, that's what the, the pluses mean, we have a positive number and we 